Welcome guys, today we are going to be going through the locations and how to get all the Afra Surges in Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown and why you want to find these. This is Only Boss Fights and I'm Stefan Yeager and without further ado, let's jump right in. Afra Surges are ultimate combat abilities that can only be unleashed after building up a certain amount of Afra. Afra is a sacred energy that Sargon can build in various ways such as attacking, parrying and defeating enemies. Also there are different amulets that can build Afra quickly, but that is for another video. After filling the Afra gauge on the bottom right corner of your HUD, you will have the opportunity to use one of 10 unique Afra surges you can find on your adventure through Mount Cuff. Better Fragments, Smite is the default Afro or Surge that is unlocked during the prologue. After chatting with the rest of the Immortals, Sargon will confront Anahita's guards and Sargon will channel his Afra. You will learn how to use your first Afra Surge, Verifan Ragnar's Smite. Probably absolutely butchered that name. The first Afra Surge that you can find on Mount Cuff is Vayu's Wave. This can be done in the Haven by completing Artaban's basic training challenges. Though Artaban can teach you 13 combat skills, you only need to complete the first 9 challenges to earn Vayu's Wave. Barman's Breath will unlock as a gift from Camille, a spirit living in the Hyracranian forest's westernmost Wat Wat tree. Soon after entering the Hyracranian forest on your search for Menelaus during the Lost in Mount Cuff quest, you'll slash through a vine covered doorway to discover your first Wack Wack tree in this region. The next Afra Surge can be found in the depths under the lower city. The Windersistan Afra Surge can be found on a high platform above the water slide on the northwestern end of the depths. To collect wind assist stand, start at the lower city area housing the massive statue and take the lower right path to enter the depths. After dropping into the depths, head west and drop down till when you reach the conveyor belt attached to the left wall. Go down the conveyor belt and you can reverse the conveyor belt back up. Go up the conveyor belt and take it to the highest ledge and it is there at the end of the ledge. That is all of the level one Afra surges and these only need one level of Afra but have a long cooldown of 25 seconds. The first level two Afra surge you can get in Mount Cuff is Shabby's Spirit. The area you can find it is in from the easternmost Wak Wak tree in the Sacred Archives. Head west to the next room and jump up to the passage and follow the stairs up to a room where you will encounter for the first time the alternative Sargon. The alternative Sargon will start the fight. To not be easily wiped is to make sure you do not get launched in the air. If you do get launched in the air he will activate his Afra Surge. Main thing is to parry to charge up your own Afra Surge and slide to avoid his chain attack. Also use all the tools available like your bow. Once defeated, collect Shabiz's spirit. The next Afra Surge is at Arash's Ray. This will unlock as part of the main campaign. After your deadly battle with Varum, he will kick you down to the depths. Here you will encounter an old man who will steal your eye of the wanderer. Chase him through the depths and you will come to a room with another alternative Sargon. The alternative Sargon has the same moveset as the previous one, but uses their bow a bit more. Remember you can deflect his arrows back at him and if he uses the Afra Surge, slide to dodge it. Once defeated, collect Arash's Ray.
To find the next surge is Padhaean's Mine, and this can be found east of the Forest Ruins fast travel point. You will need the Shadow of Simar, which you should already have. As you can see, I am using the Shakram Shadow of Shimmer, but if you don't have this yet, no worries. Throw the Shakram at the upper gear to open the upper right gate. Jump up to leave a shadow on this platform, then drop back onto the platform below where the lower gear is. Recall the Shakram again, throw it at the lower gear, then return to your shadow, and your path should be clear now. As you continue up and right along the path, you will come across not one, but two alternative Sargons. With this I will concentrate on one at a time, parrying at the right time and using your surges at the right time. I used a Rash's Ray that can deal massive damage to both Sargons if fired at the right time. This is all of the level 2 Afra surges and these need two levels of Afra. Shocker, seeing the names. The cooldown is lower than level 1 at 15 seconds. By the way, if this is helping you, why not help this video with a like and subscribe for more videos like this. The soul of Gilgamesh Afra Surge can be found behind a glowing wall near the northern west Watquak tree in the pit of Eternal Sands. If you have not discovered this area, start at the Watquak tree below the sunken harbour then use the rising sands to reach the upper left ledge. From here you need to head west and you'll soon discover a whackwork tree that's behind a gate. Climb over the gate then jump onto the elevated platform to the left of the whackwork tree to find an explosive stone. Grab the stone with the dimensional claw then fall into the pit below. On the wall on the left you will find the glowing wall to chuck the explosive rock you picked up earlier at. Through this hole you will find another alternative Sargon. Use the same tactics as before but this Sargon Afra Surge will grant him the ability to teleport around and be stronger. This requires a bit of speculation where he will end up and to dodge his new moves and hits. Once defeated pick up the soul of Gilgamesh Afra Surge. To unlock the next Afra Surge, Behemoth's Rage, you will have a challenge to defeat the immortal Orod. He is found at the end of the Raging Seas area during the Celestial Guardian's main quest. Orod is a powerhouse that has three stages in this boss battle. Start by avoiding his charge attack and wait for your openings. When he gets to the second and third stages there will be animations before he does his strongest attack. With this double jump after it, land and double jump again. His third stage will add lightning to his attacks too. Once defeated, absorb his Afra Surge to receive Bahumit's Rage. The final Afra Surge, Rashnu's Judgment, will be unlocked during the Celestial Guardian's main quest as the previous Afra Surge was, but this time you will need to take down Menelaus on your way to the Celestial, found on the northwestern end of the upper city. Menelaus is a lot nimbler than Orod and relies on his bow. This fight is all about dodging all his incoming red arrow attacks and deflecting back at him his yellow arrow attacks. One thing to watch out for is that when he stands still and has a yellow aura around him, do not attack him unless it's with a Afra Surge. This is his Afra Surge and will block your attack and devastate you with his attack. Once you have defeated him, absorb his Afra and get Rashnu's Judgment. Remember to unlock the trophy you need to use all the Afra Surges in a playthrough. This is all the level 3 Afra Surges and requires 3 Afra levels and the cooldown is 10 seconds. That's all the Afra Surges for you guys. For more guides, click one of these other videos.